Welcome back to the look into uh, the Hamilton real estate market. Today we're breaking down the activity for June 2024. So grab uh, coffee or favorite drink and let's get right into it. Median sale price. Uh, let's start with the median sale price for June uh, 2024. The median uh, stood at 745,000. When we compare this to uh, May, uh, which saw a median sale price of just over 750,000, we're seeing a slight decline of just under 1%. And compared to a year ago, uh, when the median price was 770,000, that's a decrease of three and a quarter percent. Tells us prices is all over. Prices have uh, softened slightly over the past year. However, it's important to note that so far in 2024, prices are up over five percent, which is pretty healthy. Cumulative days on market homes uh, spend an average, uh, or sorry, a median of 21 days on the market, which is up from 16 days in May, a 30 plus percent increase. And uh, comparing with a year ago last June. Properties took uh, 15 days to sell, so that's a, a substantial increase of 50% year over the year. So if you're thinking about hitting the market, don't be shocked if it's uh, not if your home is not scooped up right away. Be patient. Months of inventory: uh, June ended with 3.7 months of inventory. Last month it was 2.9, so that's a pretty significant increase month over month of 28%. And from a year ago, it was 1.9 months of inventory. So in the year, we've almost seen that number double. And that's a significant upward trend uh, in inventory that reflects more choices for buyers and leading to fewer, much fewer comp competitive bidding situations. Uh, in, uh, in June, we saw 534 sales and that's down from uh, 654 in May, so almost 20% decrease. And uh, last year, uh, there were 663 sales, which uh, is down 19%. Um, and officially comes in as the slowest June market in at least 10 years, continuing the 2024 trend of being the absolute slowest year we've seen in over a decade, other than a handful of months around the COVID outbreak in 2020. Uh, new listings uh, last month uh, were 1,275, which is a decrease from May, 1,440 new listings. So that's just over 10%, but it's 8.5% uh, more than June of 2023. Um, this mix suggests that while fewer homes are hitting the market compared to last month, sellers are still listing more homes than they did at this time last year. Neither of these numbers are very much off normal numbers. It's a pretty normal number for June. Um, the sale to new listing ratio uh, for June was at 42%, which is down uh, from just over 45 in May. And as you may know, if you watch these reports, this ratio below 50% generally suggests a more favorable market for buyers. That indicates growing inventory relative to sales. And believe it or not, this is not the lowest ratio we've seen in June in the last decade as the market uh, was even cooler for sellers by a couple of points in June of 2022 when things really cooled off. But in general for June, this is still a very low number for this market and the lowest we've seen in Hamilton uh, since last fall. And uh, in terms of total inventory, uh, the month ended with 1,970 active listings, which is an increase of 4% from May, so nothing major, but we normally, and we do normally see a small increase from May to June. So this is very typical. However, when comparing to uh, a year ago, when there were just, uh, just over 1,200 listings, that's a pretty noticeable surge, almost 60% of inventory growth. So this substantial increase in available homes could be my buyers have more leverage in negotiations, for sure they do which we're seeing in longer times on the market, as uh, noted earlier, and relatively stable, flat prices overall. Um, so there you have it for June. The market has shown signs of continuing cool in uh, terms of prices and sales, while inventory and days on market are going up. More options are out there for buyers and less pressure for them might mean that the summer is a great time to shop around, while sellers might need to be a little more strategic about pricing. As for predictions, if these trends continue, we might see a more balanced market through the summer, giving room for continued negotiations. For buyers and sellers alike, consulting with a real estate professional can help navigate these evolving market dynamics and maximize your opportunities. That's all for June 2024. For the Hamilton Market Update, whether you're buying or selling, make sure to stay informed and make sure to use data-driven insights in your real estate strategy. Till next time, thanks for checking in and we'll see you next month.